Hi guys, welcome to Zanju this morning. Do you know how important it is when you're climbing a mountain to ensure that you have the right gear? Uh, this is because when you're climbing a mountain, um, one needs to have gear that will keep you safe. One needs to have gear that will minimize you from getting hurt as you, you know, as you scale those mountains, as you scale those high hills. Um, sometimes you have gear that will, you know, just take advantage of the opportunities or leverage the opportunities that you have in that season. The reason I say this is because one of the things that is very important for us this year is the right gear, the right clothing. I felt impressed towards the end of, right, of last year, uh, God speaking to me about right garments and right clothing, especially for those of us who are in the financial sector, the business sector, that would help them navigate this season. Uh, we need to understand what God has made available for us as individuals, and we need to be able to put on this gear continually so that we'll be able to successfully navigate the year ahead. Um, I've been saying this in certain forums that next year, is, next year, which is this year, is going to be an interesting year. 2024 is going to be an interesting year. And uh, because of some of the things that are coming, we need to be rightly clothed, we need to be rightly equipped, uh, we need to put on the right gear, um, and God needs to help us just to navigate the days ahead. Uh, Proverbs chapter 18 verse 21 says that death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. The things that we say about that which is coming, the things that we say about where we are, the things that we say about our position will affect the kind of fruit that we begin to receive. Sometimes I think it's important to be um, honest about issues, but when you're honest about issues, uh, you don't stay at that place. You present these issues back to the Lord. So that you begin to see these issues not from what your physical eye tells you, but you begin to see it from God's perspective. I know the, the economy right now is going through an interesting season, and um, I think in the year ahead, uh, we're going to go through just different sorts of challenges. Uh, but that honesty does not mean that that's where we stop. It means that we present them to God and ask God, God, what is your solution uh, to the season that we have or to what we're going through? And God will give you not just his perspective, but God will also give you the right things to say or to speak into that situation. And that's why the Bible says that whoever loves it will eat its fruit. If we love our tongue, if we love our confessions, if we love our lives, if we love our destinies, then we'll eat the fruit. Our mouths will conform to what we love and will eat the fruit of the things that we are saying. So I want to encourage you that through this year, speak the right things. Speak what God says to you about the year. Um, there will be a truth, a reality based on what you see, but there will be a truth or a reality based on what God is saying. And as we align with the reality based on what God is saying, we'll eat the fruit of what God is speaking to us about the current year. So this is um, one of the things I have been saying or I have begun to say about the year and I believe that you'll join me in making this confession. Let's say this together. I put on the Lord Jesus and make no provision for the works of the flesh. I put on the breastplate of righteousness. I clothe myself with the seven spirits of God the spirit of wisdom, understanding, counsel, and might, the spirit of knowledge, and the fear of the Lord, and the spirit of the Lord. I fix my eyes on Jesus, the author and the perfecter of my faith. I speak to the gates in me to open up so that the glory of God can flow through me. I speak to the gates of the season to open up so that I can step into new realms of glory. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, that the King of glory might come in. Amen.